Suriname zal dit jaar meer middelen vrijmaken om jongeren en de private sector te onderwijzen over hoe ze efficiënter, duurzamer en verantwoordelijker gebruik kunnen maken van energie. Dit zei president Jandrika Persat Santouki vandaag bij de Internationale Energieconferentie in Guyana. Het staat zo vaak aan dat zowel Suriname als Guyana moet investeren in groene energie. En promote the use of these renewable energy resources. Adoption and installation of renewable energy sources such as from gas, solar, wind, hydro and others will offer significant benefits to our countries. So in this, we need to work together. We need to invest in research and the technology if it is beneficial for our people. That's why the commitment from countries to start investing in new energy generation technologies such as hydrogen and fuel cells is of critical importance. At the same time, those who have provided, provide and use products must invest in utilizing green energy. President Santoki zegt dat als, verant als verantwoordelijke leiders het meer dan nodig is om vooruit te kijken zodat er geen kansen gemist worden. Hij benadrukt dat beide landen de verplichting hebben om goed om te gaan met de olie- en gasbronnen. To do so in such a way that a sustainable and reliable path forward is set to create an economy upon which future generations can build and derive a steady income from. To do so in such a way that is done with internationally recognized and accepted environmental standards in place and to protect the world and remain carbon negative. To do so in such a way that we can successfully facilitate a transition from carbon-based economy towards a green economy with affordable energy. President Chandrika Persat Santoki, he said that the goal is to in the year 2060 een 80% groene economie te zijn. Om dit te realiseren zal er volgende maand een Nationale Commissie Visie 2060 ingesteld worden.